everyone. I am Yogesh. Welcome to your channel, Impulse Tech. So you all are wondering that what is I am holding in my hand. So this is the stepper motor. So in this video, we are going to control the stepper motor by using this micro step driver and the audio. So what you will learn in this video. So first you will learn about how to select this stepper motor and how to read the specification of this stepper motor. After that, we will learn about the selection of micro step driver and what are the specifications of the micro step driver. And, and next we will learn about how to do the wiring of micro step driver with the stepper motor as well as the wiring of Arduino with the micro step driver. And last we will program the Arduino to control the stepper motor precisely and accurately. So watch this video till the end to get the maximum knowledge. And if you like the video then please subscribe the channel. How to read the specification of the stepper motor and, and what are the specifications given by the manufacturers of the stepper motor. We will see the motor that we are using here is a bipolar stepper motor. So you know that there are two types of motors unipolar stepper motor and bipolar stepper motor. So we are using here bipolar stepper motor. Selecting the right kind of stepper motor may feel scary. So once you understand every details of the specification, it won't that be difficult. It's very easy to select your stepper motor that you need. Now we'll see each and every specification in detail. So phase. So stepper motor has several coils so that are wired together and controlled in phases. So you will find there are two, four, and five phases are common in stepper motor. Now the most important thing and the most important specification is step angle. Now this is the amount that the shaft of motor will spin for each individual step. Now whenever you supply a pulse from the Arduino then your shaft will rotate. right? Now how much degree it will rotate it is given here that is the step angle is given that is 1.8 degree. So whenever you give one pulse from the Arduino then it will turn 1.8 degree. Now here I have one question for all of you those who are watching this video. Just pause this video and tell me for complete rotation of this stepper motor how many steps you need. So for complete rotation of this stepper motor you will need 200 steps. So 1.8 degree into 200 you will get 360 degree. Right? So now 200 times you need to send the pulse to the stepper motor from the Arduino. So this is the step angle and this is generally common in every step motor you will get the 1.8 degree. So now we will see the current rating. So while selecting the stepper motor the most important rating parameter is your current rating of the stepper motor. So based on the current rating of your stepper motor you will select the micro step driver. So the maximum current at the rated voltage this is very important consideration for selecting the driver and the power supply for your stepper motor. There is one more specification that is holding torque. Now what is the meaning of holding torque? So this will be the amount of force that is created when the stepper motor is energized. When you supply the power to the stepper motor, when the stepper motor get energized then this will produce a torque and that torque is known as holding torque. And also there is a one more torque that is detent torque. So this is the amount of holding torque that can be expected when the motor is not energized. Specification. Now we will see the physical specification of the stepper motor. So here you will see this is the NEMA. 34. Now what does it mean? What does it mean NEMA 34? So basically NEMA 34 means NEMA is an abbreviation for National Electrical Manufacturers Association. Once again I will repeat. So NEMA is an abbreviation for National Electrical Manufacturers Association and this is the United States standard body for sizing the electrical equipment. It is formed in 1926. When people say that I am using NEMA 34 or NEMA 17 or NEMA 23 motor that has nothing to do with the specification or current or voltage rating. It just tells you about the size. You will have a question in mind. So how can we find the size by just reading this NEMA 34, NEMA 17 or NEMA 23. So I will tell you how to find this. So NEMA is the face plate size. So this is the face plate. This is the face plate. So this is the face plate. So NEMA is the face plate size. Now how you can find the size? Let's see. Face plate is the NEMA number. Face plate is the NEMA number and divided by 10 inches. So the NEMA 17 means approximately 1.7 inches. 
right you need to divide it if this is the NEMA 34 then divide it by 10 you will get the size that is 3.4 inches face plate size you will get that is 3.4 inches so same thing for if you are using NEMA 23 then NEMA 23 23 divided by 10 you will get the face plate size that is 2.3 inches so this is how the NEMA rating you can read now NEMA 34, NEMA 17, NEMA 23 has nothing to do with its current specification voltage or any step angle it just refers to its face plate size so this is about this taper motor and now we'll see the connection and wiring diagram with the microstrip driver and the Arduino so basically in market you will see there are same kind of drivers available but now how to select the driver it based upon your motor current and voltage rating so I'm using here NEMA 34 NEMA 34 stepper motor which has current rating of 4 amps so whenever you select any micro step driver you should be focused on the current rating of your motor right so current rating plays a very important role here while selecting the micro step driver so that's why I have selected this micro step driver that is micro step driver M542 my motor current rating is 4 4 amps so here you can see the peak current is 4.20 amps so it is perfectly suitable for my stepper motor now there are lots of information is given on this particular so we'll see how to read this information and how to connect our micro uh, how to connect our stepper motor first i will explain you that there is a dip switch bank is given here there are total 8 dip switches you can see now what is the use of this dip switches so there are mainly two groups there are mainly two groups of dip switches so one is your current group and another is your micro step group now what is the use of this two group why there are two groups of dip switches now if i want to deliver the particular amount of current to my motor how can i do that so for for selecting for delivering a particular amount of current to your stepper motor then you need to change the settings of your DIP switches so by turning on and off DIP switches you can able to control the delivering current from the micro step driver to the stepper motor right now this is about the current group now what is the use of second group that is micro step group so the micro step group will decide how many pulses required for one rotation turning on and off the DIP switches you can able to control the pulse and rotation of the stepper motor now so here there is information is given that we, uh, by turning on and off how, how much amount of current you can able to deliver and how many revolutions uh, how many pulses you need for one rotation so I will explain only uh, one so you can see here switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 right so you can see here switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 is there so by turning on all the three switches you will you can able to deliver one amp one ampere of current to your stepper motor right now here you can see this written switch 4 if you turn it off then half current will be fed if you turn it on then full current is delivered to the stepper motor so here you can see there is indication given that is on if you make it down then it will on right now for controlling the pulse and rotation here for 400 pulse for 400 pulse per revolution switch 5 6 7 8 you need to uh, you need to make switch 5 off and all the three switches that is 6 7 8 on for 400 pulses per revolution pulses are fed by the Arduino to the micro step driver to control the stepper motor rotation so now we'll see what is PUL minus and PUL plus basically it's, you need to uh, give it uh, you need to supply it with the plus 5 and the uh, negative that means you need to connect Arduino's plus 5 that is Arduino digital pin and Arduino's ground basically it is used to control the stepper motor rotation by providing the pulses from the Arduino now DIR plus 5 and DIR minus this is nothing but the DIR plus 5 means it's a digital output from the Arduino to control the direction of the stepper motor right now what is enable plus and enable minus so in most cases we ignore this enable A so this means module always in enable state 
right so you can use it for emergency stop basically it is used for emergency stop purpose now what is this ground and plus fee so basically this is to supply your microsoft driver with the power supply so how much amount of power you can fed so here you can see you can supply from 20 volt to plus 50 volt you can see plus 20 to plus 50 volt you can give power to the microsoft driver now a minus a a plus a minus b plus b minus basically this is nothing but the this is used to connect your stepper motor here right so bipolar stepper motor has four wires so you need to connect your four wires of the bipolar stepper motor